All right, guys, I'm going to do a double unboxing again because, well, I just have too many to unbox to just do a single. So this is a FedEx box. I do like these boxes. They have like a rip tab. You can just rip it open. This was sent in by my buddy John over at the watch gauge. Always wrapped really good. So we'll go ahead and get this guy open. Keep the bubble wrap. I use a ton of that stuff shipping things back out. It's cool he uh, does like this paper wrapping with it here. It's a bummer he probably goes through these stickers as quick as he does, but it's still pretty cool packaging because it's, you know, it's all part of the unboxing experience. Of course, you have a G-Shock here. Spoiler alert, there it is, the GBX100. Watch gauge actually got a few in. And I believe he said they only got one color in right now, and that's this one here. So let's open it up and check it out. Now, initially, when I looked at the pictures of the colors, this was probably one of my least favorite ones. So I was curious to see what it looked like in person. It's not as vivid as I thought it would be, so this is actually pretty good. Oh, wow, the material is... It's got, like, keepers in the... Um, so that keeper's molded together, and there's uh, little nubs in there to match up. This is... <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a sick watch. Um, will it replace the square? No. But it can definitely live alongside it. That display is insane. They need to do a display like this in the regular squares. I'll do... Like I said, I'll do a full video on this like I do everything, you know. This is what I was wearing, by the way. I'm always super far behind on watches, guys. That's just the way it goes. Um, let's put this guy... Oh, man. That is a... It's super light. It's a very good size. Very, you know, G-Shock Square-like. Um, but just really cool finishing on it. And that display is insane legible. Uh, yeah, G-Shock did a hell of a job with this display. So let's look through it here. I know there's a bunch of videos already on it, and it does a ton. Of, it has even way more stuff because it has the activity tracking, notifications. Yeah, this thing is going to be slick. I'm going to have to pick one of these up. Um, actually, I'll probably just buy this one off John because uh, it's already here, so how easy is that? And the color is, uh, I think I would rather have the black one, but this one's not... It's not weird looking at all. Like, it's a good, nice, subtle color. I, I kind of dig it now that I have it in hand. Let's open up the second package. This one, um, I didn't peel the, the info off the label, so I'm just going to open it off screen a little bit here and try not to kill myself with this little knife. This was sent in um, by my buddy Jerry. Jerry's the guy that uh, does all my 3D printing. You know, these guys here, those monsters, those little monsters. He's even got some more cool stuff coming out. This here looks to be a Seiko Superior. I, honestly, I talked to so many people and, oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. I like the box. So this is the old Stargate. Check that out. And it's got the Roman day wheel. These are very cool cases. These are super cool to mod, or you can just wear them the way they are, but they have a really cool case, and um, it's just another unique Seiko that's really cool. So again, I'll do a video on that real soon. Um, if you're interested in the model number, it is a SRP439er. There it is. It has the blue dial with like the orange frame, the minute and seconds hand, and then the orange trim on the crown. So I think it, man, I already bumped that. This this thing bumps easy. Yeah, the bezel is kind of weird. It bumps easy. So there's that. That's the unboxing for today, guys. And uh, I'll try to start catching up on videos. I know I'm crazy far behind. But look, dang, look at that GBX. This thing is even better than you guys would hope it to be. I'm telling you, this is that good. So as soon as you can find one, if you're a G-Shock Square fan, just buy one. You're not going to regret it. See you on the next vid.